welcome back. This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. Today we're going to assemble this heat insert placer. It's a vertical heat pressing machine and it's going to help us get a perfectly vertical position with our heat threaded brass inserts so we can have ease of assembly for 3D printed parts. I purchased this from Amazon for $50 and it's got the basically a soldering iron which we're going to change the tip on. It's got three Allen wrenches. It's got the various hardware bits. These are the tips that we'll use to place those threaded brass heat inserts, various diameters for the various size inserts. It's got a nice steel base, which is great three chrome rods and some additional pieces including a very strong metal handle. Let's start putting this together. First thing we're going to do is take this plate and secure it with 5 millimeter by 16 millimeter long screws. There's a threaded hole on each side. And then once we put the vertical bar in there, we're going to put a 4 millimeter screw from beneath which will go into this threaded hole at the base of this vertical rod. So we'll get these down, get them nice and tight, secure our vertical rod, then place our four millimeter screw, then place our four millimeter screw right. Once those are placed, we're going to very securely tighten those. So they don't go anywhere. There's these long Allen wrenches. We've got a lot of leverage with these. There's that. There's that. And there's this. This base fastener is a split ring, and so we need to tighten this Allen key here. That's a three millimeter. So then it won't go anywhere. Next thing we're going to do is put these linear bearings in here. This is a freely movable part. It fits just like that. And then we've got these three millimeter screws back here. I'm going to tighten those. It's going to hold that in place, and we'll do the same. That'll hold that in place, and that'll we'll do the same at the bottom. So there are two linear bearings for two rails. Gives it a lot of stability. So we crank those babies tight. And we'll put the second rail in. Now we're going to attach this piece that rides on the vertical rod with four four millimeter screws. Okay, once these are all placed. We're just loosely secured and we'll, we'll tighten those up. We've got a nice strong attachment. So I've added the depth stop and tightened it. Put the screw with the spring on. And then this will be the this will be the anchor point. Here are our two linear rods. They're going to be connected with this bar to the three millimeter screws. There's two. Now we put the handle on with two of those similar screws. Crank them tight so you're, they're not going to come loose. All right. So we're making progress. We've got the handle, we've got the vertical and the horizontal rails. 
this kit comes with an excellent set of all these different diameters for the heat inserts. We're going to take this silicone cap off and screw this knurled knob. This piece comes off. This piece goes on. And then we're ready to put whatever size insert we're going to use, and this is a three millimeter one. The next step is to mount the soldering iron, and it has a flange here which prevents it from riding upward, so we put these two parts on first. Six millimeter screws with lock washers. And then carefully place those in the threaded inserts in the handle. And have the controls so they're facing you and secure those. And then we adjust this depth stop to whatever height we want. So we're going to put some threaded inserts into these pieces so we figure out exactly how far down it needs to go. That's about right. This on, there it is. And here are the various temperatures. 120, 159, 191. Get it started and move it into position here. And then slowly push it in as it melts. More. That's all there is to it. This is this is PLA, so it heats up pretty darn fast. One little trick is you can put the threaded insert on in the corner, get the heat tool then to get it and then drive it home. That puts that in really nicely. So again, hey, Adventures with Dr. Joe. If this was helpful, please click thumbs like. Consider subscribing. Thank you.